Like it or not, fall is here, and for some, that means it's time to break out the fall decorations. Today, Jennifer Allwood is back with a step-by-step -step, um, tips to make a fall topiary. Actually, not just one, several. We're going to try to we're make gonna, a We're going to work hard. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so when I think of a fall topiary, I think of usually like the... The pots, like the mm -hmm. green lump, the kind of bigger, the smaller balls going the balls. Up. Yes, but actually, they're not just that. Well, you can the word topiary you can kind of use as a general term for mm -hmm. kind of anything tall stuffed in a pot. So that's kind of what we're gonna use it as. And so Love I've it. got a couple of topiaries here that I thought we would try to kind of uh, remake mm -hmm. on live television. Let's start with so, this one. Perfect. Okay, this topiary down here is made with a series of grape wreath vines. You can get mm -hmm. these at uh, craft stores like Hobby Lobby, uh, Michaels, and so what you're looking for is a volcano shape. So you're going to start mm -hmm. out with a couple of this size and a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. So you get that good cone um, volcano shape going. How so do you stack them together? Okay, we put them together with some wire. Um, this is my wire. <laughs> Whatever works. Yes, this is my wire. So um, I'm going to put this little one just right back on top and mm -hmm. show you that we're just going to twist a piece of wire on this, tuck mm -hmm. it in, and it doesn't have to be perfect. So, and then what do you stuff inside? All right. Well, we're going to flip it over, and we are going to stuff it with newspaper. The newspaper is going to help it hold its form. Mm -hmm. It's just going to keep it nice and tight for when we decide to go ahead and tuck in all of the berries and things. So Okay, but what about rain? Can these get wet? You know, I've had these on my front steps. I've had this one on my front steps for several years. They do get mm -hmm. wet. And and they seem to just kind of weather a little better every year. So I love it. Yeah. So we put these in a pot, basically just like this. If this pot was just a little bit larger, I would stake it down with garden stakes just in case it gets windy. I'm not really worried about the rain, but the wind can kind of play a little havoc. So these are just little picks from, um, again, Hobby Lobby, Michael, something like that. You're literally just going to stick those in. You can do as many or as few as you want. And we will uh, take care of a couple of those here. And you are finished. So you could easily take these decorations out and put in a different color scheme, maybe white or something like that, for mm -hmm. Christmas. So you could redo oh, the top berries. That. Or I kind of uh, just like to keep them the same every year. So mm -hmm. I put a trash bag over the top of them every year, throw them, them in the, the closet, yep. and we're good to go for next fall. So. All right, let's move Perfect. on to this one right okay. here. I love this because this is actually nature that you're using. It is, yes. What I are like, these? Okay, these are hedge apples. Mm -hmm. um, you see them on the ground everywhere in Kansas City. I don't really know what kind of a tree they're coming off of, <laughs> but they're awesome. Um, a lot of little kids call them brains. Uh, they just have a fabulous texture. And what I've discovered is that they paint fantastically. Beautiful. So basically you can just set these inside of a paint pan, take a can like these were sprayed with this metallic gold paint mm -hmm. and just roll it around. It takes about 30 seconds to spray paint one of these and they're done. So I have tucked these inside of this topiary over here. A couple of the smaller ones, you can tell they're really heavy, Michelle. Yes, I mean they've got some heavy. weight to them to so be a good weapon. Use? So these are just dowel rods. This one has been obviously painted a little mm -hmm. bit because everything in my home is painted. <laughs> so um, you can use a dowel rod. You can look Literally just kind of poke a hole inside one of these and then set it on top and stick it into the topiary. And that's what I did to give these gold ones some height there. But again, they are heavy, so you're going to want to try to find some that are just a little bit smaller. So, And these are also a great centerpiece. Yeah, they're fantastic. Uh, they are supposed to ward off spiders, uh, but they do, I'd like to keep them outside. I'd just like to tell the viewers mm -hmm. keep them outside. They do also kind of attract bugs on occasion. So I did just want a little bit of extra height in this topiary as well, uh, things that weren't quite so heavy as what these are. So I bought some styrofoam balls. Mm -hmm spray painted them with just a little bit of color. I tried to get that pop of teal that's so hot for fall right now mm -hmm. um, in there. Again, I just spray painted those on dowel rods. You can literally just hold these outside, spray and twist. And um, really easy. Your kids can help you with this. And this one's going to have to be disassembled every year. Um, you're not going to be able to put a trash bag over this I'm thing. amazed you put this in the car. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Thank goodness for friends and husbands um, who help load we things. We appreciate so, that. Yes, so absolutely we do. You're and so it's your welcome. anniversary today. It is, yes. So happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, honey. <laughs> yes. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for coming on the show. Great stuff.